Three, two, one. General, we've located the bracketeers. Excellent work, Captain. We need to be sure they're being watched. Roger that, sir. I am. This is gonna be good. So what does a wife do when her husband's gone all week long? Goodness gracious, I don't know. I've gotten a lot of stuff done. I did the dishes and I have to make my own dinners. Sean makes such good food and I miss his food making skills. So tonight I'm having mac and cheese with uh, fish looking thingy bobbers. And the box makes it look a little more appetizing. But it does taste good. I tasted it already though. But here's what it is. is mac and cheese goldfish. And the goldfish look a little different than they do in my bowl. But they're going to taste just as good. And of course, um, I also went grocery shopping and got a bunch of stuff and had fun with that. You can see that clip of me grocery shopping. <laughs> Today was super duper crazy. So in the middle of the night there was a storm and I woke up and there was a lot of rain and it was like <laughs> for like a while. I don't know how long but it seemed like it was like half an hour or something. And then this afternoon um, me and my co-worker went walking on our lunch break and it was like it felt really hot like it was like 80 or 90 degrees outside. And then later on this afternoon all of a sudden we hear <laughs> And it was a thunderstorm with lightning and all that sort of stuff. And our um, some of our machines at work went down. And that was crazy because everyone was scrambling to get rid of, um, to call their patients and tell them not to come in because everything was down and all that sort of stuff. It was super duper crazy. And the lights flickered and we heard the thunder. And it was just a crazy, crazy weather, summer, springtime storm. It was just, it was ridiculous. And so, um, like I said, the lights flickered and stuff. So I got home this evening and our dishwasher is blinking. And right there. And then um, our home security thingy bobber, the light is usually off, but it's on now. So it looks like that restarted also. And the computer restarted. And the really weird thing is that the oven didn't restart. The oven has its normal time on there. So either the electricity went out for like a split second and it didn't end up going to that or something. I don't know, but it was crazy. And so we had two weird storms today and it like downpoured so much rain in the afternoon. We definitely needed that water, so I ain't complaining there, but I wish I was outside and got to see the storm because that was pretty spectacular just hearing it from the inside of the building. We normally don't hear it very much, but that, that had to have been the craziest storm ever. So I'm just waiting for Sean to get home and we're gonna make some dinner together. I haven't seen him all week long because he's been gone doing some uh, work project thingy bubber out of town. I'm back home from Vacaville. Whee! And I got the welcome wagon. I have Carolyn. Welcome wagon! And I have a gigantic spider on the floor. <laughs> it's so scary looking. Doesn't look that gigantic in the video, does he? No, it looks really small. And blurry now. Anyway. Yeah, he's really, really creepy. I, um, I almost stepped on him when I went to go grab some cups to make some snow cones. Out of our snifty little uh, snow cone maker thingy bobber. And, and I really did scream. He scared it to me. And I'm usually not scared of spiders. That's me. I'm the spider scared guy. Yeah. So, Carolyn will be taking care of this. Okay, I, I helped, but all I did was get the piece of paper that Carolyn was going to use. <laughs> so we got him in there. Yep. 
And he ain't happy. Nope. But he didn't throw a fight. The other one that we got rid of recently threw a fight and I actually got rid of a couple of his legs on accident. But, uh, yeah, this one's going out in the wilderness now. A.K.A. front yard. Are those are spiders. What kind is that? <laughs> like a wolf one. spider or something? I feel them crawling around. <laughs> Ready? Set? Bye. Bye! Let's get oh. out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's chasing us. So we we're gonna go to a pizza place called Cinder's Pizza and it's a um, brick house. Brick um, brick something brick oven, brick oven stove thingy bobbers. We were gonna go there and so we we're heading that direction and we we're trying to find the place and then I found on the map thing that it said that the place was closed. It's only open from 11 to 3 o'clock in the afternoon. What's up with that? So then we decided that we're gonna head back to the other side of town and go to um, a Mongolian place that you can like pack up your food and then they like cook it on the thingy bumper and then you eat it on the noodles and vegetables. And they have sushi there. And sushi! Sushi! Yeah. So we're heading in that direction and then we got onto the, the on ramps and stuff and Sean decided to end up going on the one towards Portland instead of the one towards the place that we're going to. So now we're driving an extra, I don't know, five miles or something. Maybe I'm just really excited about around. Vlogger Fair <laughs> and so I'm just thinking of going towards Portland. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Although it's in Seattle, it's not in Portland, but it's, no. it's close. It's the right direction. That's yeah. the way we would go. That's close. Yeah, totally. There's anyway. Yeah, so, so now we're off the freeway and we're heading to the restaurant that we're trying to get to now. Sushi. The tornado roll. Tornado roll. It looks like a tornado hit it. It does. <laughs> and that looks delicious. Mm, look at that. Mm. Is it as yummy as it looks? Mm -hmm. good. Yeah. And we got these monstrosity bowls. Big bowl of food. Yum, yum, yum. So we have two of these places in tent town now. We have the one on the other side of town and one on this side of town now. But the other one they don't have sushi. Oh, that's true. But they have fresh pineapples and I think they have more uh, choices of ingredients. So, they're give and take. We're looking for some wall decor at the wonderful, wonderful Tarjay. 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 And... Need a new mouse? Uh, nice. Yeah, we do need a new mouse, but not that kind. <laughs> what is that anyway? It's a mouse. Well, what do you do with it? It's a ring holder. A ring holder? So we're looking for something to put up on the wall to make the wall in the editing bedroom a little bit more cool looking. But we cannot find anything at the moment here because this is all that we see. All this here. Hello. Hi. Welcome to Black Deer Log. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we got these yummy <coughs> drinks. We'll give you five seconds to guess what drink it is. Five, four, three, two, one. Time's up, time's up. Put your comments below. Tweet it to us quickly before the next part of the video. I'm too late s'mores. <laughs> <laughs> we got some more coffee. It's s'mores and it's from Starbucks. The new flavor if you new haven't flavor. noticed. We noticed, yeah. so we got one. Yeah, we had to try it because we love s'mores. S'mores are so delicious. <gasps> Yum. <gasps> Yum. <sighs> so it looks like they got the coffee in there, and you got some some chocolate, and some there was some white stuff in the bottom. So I'm guessing it was some marshmallows or something. And then they got this like crumb stuff on top. Graham crackers. Graham cracker crumbs. Mmm, -hmm, delicious. 
Makes me want to have a campfire. Ooh, let's do it. Oh my goodness, what in the world am I making here? I'll let you know a little secret, but to see how I made it and to see the end results, you'll have to go to my craft channel, Craftastrophe. So here we go. This is what I've made today as one of my crafts. It's purple. What in the world? Why? Why in the world is this in the pan purple? And let me give you a hint. It's edible. We're going to be eating it later. And it's going to be delicious. And I'll give you another hint. Woo! Cake mix and soda. Hmm, what's that going to make? I don't know. You'll have to check it out later to find out. So right now I'm working on cooking um, my craft. And I know that making, making, baking, whatever, is not exactly a craft. But it is something fun to do. And it's different because the soda was kind of cool sticking into the, um, the mixture. Because it just like foamed up like super crazy. And it was like... Whoosh, 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 whoosh. And yeah, it was super cool. So, I'm just waiting for the oven to preheat so that I can get my craft moving along. So, check it out so you can see it. And I'm not going to show you the end results um, unless we're eating it or something. But, um, maybe not. Maybe. I don't know. It's going to be a secret and you have to find out later. And you have to go to the craft channel to see how I made this and how it turns out. Hi guys! All right, so here's the deal. It's been kind of a busy week, and I wasn't able to put together the Twitter action video, and I didn't have any other videos going on that for the Tuesday videos. So uh, I apologize that you guys didn't get a Tuesday video this week. Um, like I said, lots of stuff coming on. You'll kind of see a little bit of footage on that next week on some of the stuff that was going on, and uh, a little bit crazy. But uh, we'll uh, we'll go ahead and we'll do something this week. So. What I'm thinking, or for next week, you know, so. I'm thinking we do the the last Twitter, ac Twitter action that I never finished. So the question was, what is a word or phrase that you would like to create yourself and use? Or even a word or phrase that you're bringing back from the dead? Just let me know. You can put it in the comments below. You can tweet it to me at Bracketeers. Um... That's probably the best two ways, or you can get on our Bracketeers Facebook page. Links in the comment on the uh, description second section below. It'd be nice if I could speak today, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, so that'll be the question. What's a word or phrase that you would like to make up or that you would like to bring back from the dead? And just let me know when you let me know which one you want to do, which one it is that you're choosing, whether it's make up or bring back. Just write that somewhere. Make up or bring back. All right, and we'll go ahead and feature that. I have a couple comments from a few weeks ago that we're in, uh, that we're doing this one, and then on Tuesday we will uh, put up a Twitter action, and we'll let you know what's going on for the following Twitter action. All righty, like a rush. Have a nice day, and we'll see you next time. To the end, slate.